And of course, from Atlanta, Georgia, the United States of America, all the way to the United States of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking from Lagos, Abuja, Nigeria. Ghana, Accra, of course, Tanzania, Dar es Salaam, my goodness. Coming into the beautiful city of Nairobi. We are coming live from Ark Place, Nyangumi Road, of course, on uh, Pete's Cafe. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Foneke Live. And of course, a big guest, big conversation with the big host. Tonight it's amazing. But before we go there, big shout of course to, to of course, um, handling our production, making sure that we look all handsome and beautiful and everything, of course, it, it is there. Ticklet Media, and of course, the dealing, of course, with our marketing, PR and communication, your local creative agency, all in all, bringing you the biggest Dr. Fennec Live. Ladies and gentlemen, Karibuni Sana. Remember, of course, to subscribe, of course, right there on Dr. Fennec TV, and of course, get to watch our past episodes and of course also to preempt our future episodes as well and of course if anybody who you want to see including jesus including judas iscariot someone peter whoever you want to see on the show halatas of course we're going to bring them on the show but tonight this is a gentleman who i love respect honor and hold at the highest esteem and a gentleman whom i'm proud to call not only a friend but a big brother a friendship that goes to almost 15 years but today he is a big mc a big radio host, a big TV show host, and of course, one of the biggest YouTubers right now as we speak in the region. Of course, God willing, the incoming member of parliament, Langata constituency. So if you're in Langata, make sure you've taken your vote because I am now hosting your member of parliament. Bro, Yes. Karibu on the show. Please cheers on the tea first. This is the Pits Cafe. All that was an uh, introduction. All that for you. Mm. Name massage ego yote, all that for you. Karibu on the show. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm okay. First of all, I don't take it for granted. Sandy Sandy for coming on the show. And congratulations for your your channel. Sandy Sandy. I've been telling you for a very long time. Start doing this thing. Stop following people to employ you. You refused. <laughs> now you are late. We have gone really far. No, now. nobody's late. Nobody's late. Anyway, nobody's late. It's all nobody's good. Late. At, at least we're here. Very good. And I'm always grateful that you've always had my back genuinely. You've always been pushing me, encouraging me, and always been there for me. And it's something I really appreciate. That's what you do for lazy people. Uh, wait, 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 you have wait. have to encourage wait, them, no. make them work hard. Are you trying to revenge on what I did on your show? <laughs> <laughs> all right. First of all, first things first. Mm -hmm. Langata, people have been asking, why did Jalango not go for the village and came to Langata, the city? Boss. Please answer. Answer us. Now, I go to the village. I love the village. I go there at least once a week, meaning everything that I do, mm. I do here in Nairobi. I am not the kind of people who, are the, during elections, mm. travel to go back to the village, yet they live and want solutions done here back in Nairobi. In Nairobi. So here in Nairobi, is, this is where I live, mm. and Langata is a home. And this is where we need to legislate and make rules for the things that really affect us here. True. B back in the village, there are people in the back there. <laughs> then the village politics is too much. <laughs> You'll, they'll start asking you, who is your clan? Baba Anani. Baba Anani. <laughs> Whose father were you? There's a woman you impregnated. I don't know when. <laughs> Come back. Uh, no, we are not you there. Know. But the truth is, mm. uh, Nairobi is where my life is, my family is, everything that we do uh, here. Mm. There are a lot of decisions that are made in Nairobi affect me directly. True. Unlike the village where I actually go maybe just once a month or twice a month. Really? Yes. Now, let me ask, why specifically Langata? Why not Madari? Langata, why, not, uh, why, not, why not other places? Why not Westlands? Why Langata? Langata is home, just like I've told you. Mm. That is the first place I ever lived in when I came to Nairobi, thanks to my uncle, uncle Albert Wandago. I mm. lived with, in his house in an estate called Siwaka. Siwaka, house number 144. That is wow, right. you even remember it. Yeah, that is right opposite Strathmore University, and that is in Nairobi West Ward. Mm. Then later again, when I started working at the National Theatre, uh, David Aliwa, who was my director then, and his brother and sister Godana, Mm. We lived with them in Southlands, that is in Mugumuini Ward. Oh. So it's a place that I know. Then every person, all my friends, everyone, everybody who works, almost 90% of the people who work at my agency mm. live in Langata. And uh, Langata is home. So I find myself very comfortable there. Mm. And also, you know, I'm following the footsteps of Baba. Mm. So I can only be... You had if, to. Yes. Mm. Langata is where Baba started. Mm. And soon and very soon, 
I will be the next Baba. Why not? So <laughs> when you want something, follow you, that. You already say. You already say the last. Do you know how old Baba is? <laughs> old is Baba, Baba is old. Baba is old and wise. So soon and very soon, mm. I'll be old and wise. Stepping With into where the shoes. Start stepping into the shoes of Baba. One day at a time. Now let me ask, probably guys are asking, mm. what is it that Baba failed, uh, fa Baba failed to do or did or you want to, to do or you want to improve? What is this one thing that Langata people should look forward to? Baba has never failed, will not fail, and has, uh, is not planning to fail any day. I, I, so I plead the fifth. Take back your words and everything. Baba has never failed anywhere. I, I, I plead the fifth. All right. So yes. we are just going to be part of the journey that Baba has tried to be mm. and uh, trying to transform our society. Mm. Maybe he's never just gotten a chance on that high office mm. to be able to implement the amazing things that he keep on talking about. Uh -huh. But we are just following a footstep and improving and learning from what Baba left. And that is why... Uh, we are not coming to change what Baba did or what mm. now. We are just coming to be there and mm. learn, be the footsteps of Baba and do best than we found it. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. And I think for me personally, maybe um, I mean, I've never told you, I think for me, and I'm actually changing my vote from where I've been voting to Langata because of What do you, you mean you're actually because, changing? No, I am changing. I'm telling you that because you haven't I, no, changed. I'm changing it. No, no, you no, haven't changed. I am changing it because of one thing. That is Producer, where that is where I grew. <laughs> get get this microphone. I should be busy changing people's votes. No, no, here. no. I'm I'm yeah. changing it. For you, for you, I am going to vote in Langata. You, now let's 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 let me No, clear. no, no. You can't just brush that that No, I am doing that. I am doing that. I'm giving you mm. tomorrow. You yes. should have led by example. No, I'm you actually should. going for the Nairobi West vote. Uh, uh, vote. What? That's, okay. that's where that's, I'm going to be changing it okay. from. That's so I'm okay. actually very, so very deliberate sure, about that. Because sure you for me, I'm very, I'm, I'm very much in the, because Langata is part of where I grew up, where it was larger uh, Kibra, and of course, yeah. that is where my childhood is, yeah. almost uh, 10 years. Langata is almost home to so many people. Exactly. Because so many people who come to Nairobi for the first time, they either land in Kibra or land in Madari, land in Korokocho as they start to find their footings exactly. in it's this their town. bouncing castle to yeah, life into this in, in, into into Nairobi mm. and uh, so many people now let me talk about people from Nyanza mm. our community Luo mm. Kibira is the default <laughs> default home for oh, yeah. most of us when we come in here mm. and uh, immediately after that you remember Langata was the larger Langata yes. it was Kibra and the Langata that now we know yes so, and even part of uh, Kibra is still Langata. Mm. That is around uh, Raila village as you go on. Mm. And uh, we are here to make a difference. Beautiful. Yeah. Let me ask, um, how does your family feel about this? Uh, <laughs> Especially my Shemeji. How does she feel about no, it? Forget about my shemeji, your uh, Shemeji. Yeah. She'll have to deal with it. <laughs> uh, let's talk about my mother who has already started welcoming people home. <laughs> In the name of Karibu Kwa uh, Mweshimiwa. You know, my mother, my mother, I think is like me. Uh, big heart and all. So immediately I said I was running. She has gone and opened the gate full. And it is never closed either day or night. night. Yes. And that is where we guys are voting from. No, I don't know why she really <laughs> thinks that I need votes back in the village. <laughs> But uh, they're excited, it's challenging. Mm. There are people among them who are worried about it. Yes. But if you know me, you should never be worried about any project that I take. Mm. I always have two sides of the coin. Mm. We can always make it or cannot make it, but we can always back, bounce back, provided we are still alive. True. Yes. I like the world is you've, you've always been telling us ever since we were growing up that uh, mm. you either go big or, or, or go home. No, we changed it. We changed it. Uh, you either go big or go big. What? If so there's no two way around it. Yes, you either go big or go big. If you can't beat them, arrange to have them but beaten. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you don't join them. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's let's. Uh, I, I, um, over the years, Jalangwa's brand has become one of the. I, I feel like. Do you feel like you misunderstood the times? Who Jalango is? Of course, yes. You because see. there's always that conversation of the people who are like, I like him, I don't like him, I want to like him, no. I like him so much. If, what, you, what? if you want to be liked with everyone, sell ice cream. Please. You understand? Mm. Sell ice cream and the day you'll sell bad ice cream to them, they will not like you. Uh -huh. Okay? To me, I've never had haters or people who hate me. Mm. 
mm. or people who don't like me. People who hate me or don't like me are people who like me so much. They are confused fans. Mm. Their love is too much until they don't know how to handle it. So they become the critics around it. And any time they critique something, mm. we learn from their criticism. And that's how we grow. You understand? Yes. Don't be one person who does not want to be criticized, who does not Allow. want to be talked to. Mm. Allow it. If you don't have haters, you ain't doing anything. If people stop talking about you, you'd rather take your bus and go back to your house. Who is zero? And be there. <laughs> you must always be the conversation. Let people never forget about you, but be in good conversation. But even as you might try and be in their good conversations, they'll always look for the bad side of the conversation. So here we are, always pushing, believing, mm. and trusting, focusing, making the path so clear, mm. bouncing back from tribulations, hate and trolls and all. You come back because where we come from, if some of you knew where we come from, you don't even have a time to hate us. You'll always be praying for us. But since you don't understand or know where some of us come from, you can always hate. But here we are, because you are not giving up. We didn't come this far to reach this far. We are going further, my guy. The fight is on. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Foneke Live, of course. Jalango, the show exclusive. Only on Dr. Foneke Live, Dr. Foneke TV. Why are you shouting? It's because I'm, 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 I'm loving this. Bro, have you ever gotten to a point where a fan has probably said something so bad that probably drove you not really into depression, but almost? Uh, mm. let, let, let me give, because I'm pretty sure guys, guys, guys are wondering. Let, let me give one of the most scenarios that guys have ever thought, wow, this could be it for Jalango. What? The boys' club ah. story. Did it? Did it? Uh, no, it, no. Did it get you to that point? Uh, no, no. Because everybody had their version of what they thought it was. So when COVID happened, yes. when COVID happened, uh, all of us were back at home, and we were wondering, what can we do? Yeah. You understand? Mm. What can we do? So that is when I started Jalango TV. I remember that time. And at that time, the only people I could meet are my friends, the boys, mm. who. We are actually just not a boys club like that. We are the boys mm. who build in the village. Mm -hmm. Boys who make moves. You understand? Yes. These are guys I've grown up with, lived with and everyone. My wife knows all of them. Mm. Homes and everything. So, uh, what everybody didn't understand was something very simple. Uh, when we were shooting, mm. Kafi was there. All right? There was I remember that, yes. So, two of the guys are not married. All of the other guys are married. So they would say, ah, you guys are lucky when you live here, you're at least going to someone, you're going home. Then somebody just said in the group, ah, see, often I guess you date Jen. Then somebody said, no, Jen used to be Nani's girlfriend. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, no, I know no, that. Jen was yours. No, it's you who could at Jen. You understand? Yes. So the whole thing turned into a boys' conversation that people misunderstood. Mm. You understand? Mm. But it didn't affect any of us. People talked. When the people who knew the truth had to know, we had to deal with a lot of backlash. Mm. Had had to deal with clans who... Clans you who lost pushed. a few clans. I lost a few clans. There's a, we had just signed a very big deal then. Everybody was talking. There are clans who always... Immediately something happens. They don't investigate. Contradiction, yeah. They don't in investigate. They don't ask. They immediately cancel contracts. Mm. But I prefer clans who tell you to hold Hold as they let the they, water cool down. Let let them assess and mm. know the truth. Mm. Okay, then they they'll advise whether they want to go on or not. The clans who held me that time, I'm telling you, their profits either doubled, tripled, or I don't know, because it was the most silent time that you could push the products the best way you could. True, I know that time nothing. The worst really one happened. maybe is when somebody called me wash wash. You know me very well. Do you know, I, 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 I don't know you saw <laughs> how I came out today. Do, I don't, do you saw that article? Mm. I came out defending you and I see them. No, you don't have to defend me. No, but for me, it's it, not like I had to. No, you, you, all but you for me to do, was... All you had to do was just to laugh. You should have just laughed it off. Ah, because, for me, nah. Because, you see, anytime you're working hard, soon and very soon, you see this show of yours, it's going to be so big. Amen. You might not even just have this pit cup alone here mm. as your main sponsor. You'll have things here... People would want to be part of your, of your show. Yes. You get? Yeah. People are happy when you're not doing well. When you feel like, they feel like that, they're like you and you're like them. Okay? Take, yes. for example, this very young couple of Mungai Eve and the boyfriend, yes. uh, Trevor. When they used to do their shows, Zuko, 
Dandora, nobody cared. When they used to bring people like Mbogigenje, Madocho, Ngumimbwekse, uh, and all, nobody cared about them. Because guys were like, congratulations, congratulations, you guys are pushing, pole pole. This kid puts like 10 to 15 videos on a YouTube channel per day. And that is money coming in. So the other day, they moved into a new house. I saw that. Uh, they bought a new car. I saw that. The other day now, the hate started coming in. When you can actually see their success unfolding in your own eyes. That at that time, if you had started doing the same thing that they were doing, you could have been like them. But just because you didn't take an initiative, mm -hmm. and you're seeing that these people who are just like you the other day are making moves and are making steps, all you are left to do is to hate, which is not a good thing. Kenya to is it a culture of Kenyans? Are we, no, 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 no. Is it a culture to hate? Are, do, we, do, we, do we have a... Not all Kenyans. I've mm. had so many Kenyans who appreciate what we do. Mm. I've had people who hold me with the highest esteem. Mm. I've had people who believe in what I do. Mm. All right? Yes, sir. And the people who, even if you did anything today, signed what you did in our home. There just has to be something that pains them. Yes. That's where the problem is. But it should never be something that puts you down. Like I told you, if nobody's talking about you, you leave, man. Go back to the village. That is the end of you, my guy. If I'd sit down one day and there's nobody saying anything about me that I've done, nini nini, but I've always wanted to do good things. So I've, that, I've, I've seen so you. That everybody who's ever been around me can tell you, big heart, big vibes and everything. Positivity, big smile. And that's it, bro. I'm, 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 I'm very much enjoying, of course, uh, I'm, I'm loving the self-belief that you have. I think it's one of the things I've always admired about you. Yeah. You've, you've, always, you've always tried to really push that into me mm. and even Ogaobina, always. I, I would want to consider that we are like your favorite small brothers, the two of Never us. Never ever. <laughs> Never, ever. Never ever. Yeah, you are talking about having a big heart. <laughs> you're, not, you're not my favorite people. <laughs> oh, we are, don't worry. We are Jelango's we favorite small brothers. We know that for sure. Nobody's welcome to Jelango's house apart from him and I at any time. <laughs> that we know for sure. Let me, let, me, let me ask. Let's talk about Jelango as a father. Yes. And you, you, you've really kept, but then you've really tried keeping off uh, your kids out of the, out of the limelight. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about Jelango away from emceeing radio gigs and our politics. You in the house. Yeah. Between you and Shemeji, who is the disciplinarian? Ah, uh, definitely me. Ah! Me. How me. many times do you kill your children in a week? Uh, not, not in a week. Kwani, there, there's a timetable. It's an episode. Kwani, it's, a, it's a series. Killing children should be... No. And I don't believe in killing children. Eh. It is making them and making them grow, knowing what is good and what is wrong. Mm. Once or twice I had to kill my son. And uh, from that day, I felt really bad. But he knew that side of me, mm. that you know what? Dad does not tolerate not like jokes. This. You understand? Mm. Small, small things. Say thank you. Say please. Do not shout at people. Small, small things. And you know my wife is calm and easy. Yeah. And I cannot even think about the, my daughter being killed. That has never crossed her yes. mind, of course. Yes, cannot even think about. So I'm the disciplinarian. Do you think our generation is failing, failing in terms of being fathers? Do, do you think we are doing bad? Because a lot of cases of, uh, a lot of, cases of baby mamas, mm -hmm. a lot of cases of actually absentee fathers as well. Mm -hmm. Do you think we're failing in that? No, we haven't failed. I think uh, we are living in a very different times with our folks mm -hmm. when uh, things are not as fast as they were then. And uh, the competition against or the, 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 the chase Mm. of a good life because everything is out there that you want to be you understand mm. everything is out there that you desire to have everything is out you can actually see it that this is what i have and so this is what to... what i want to do so sometimes your dream is maybe to have a building like this it will not come from comfort zone it will be early mornings and late nights that is when things like this can come mm. your way and immediately you go to full force of the hassle, the real hassle. There's a lot of things you'll compromise. You'll get home late, tired, and maybe the kids will not see you. Sometimes I get home at say 10,
when we have gigs. Yes. The kids are asleep. I leave at four. They are you asleep. Have to be ready. And that could go even for two weeks. We live together, yet we are not together. Sometimes I have even to wake them up. Like I need, like to, I need to see you guys. King, King, how are you doing? Dad is back. Sometimes they even sit up and wait for me. So those are some of the things that we are dealing with. The world is so fast. Everything is here. We need to, we need to, that your desires are We're here. chasing a future. We're chasing a destiny. Which you can see. And like our folks, maybe sometimes the inspiration was just to be maybe a doctor, mm. maybe a teacher, maybe a pastor. And they had a formula around it. To you, my son tells me he wants to be a footballer. And you really have to make sure that you look for that dream and present it to him. You know what it takes for your son to be a footballer? There's no school here in Kenya, I think, that is expensive than that of your son wanting to be a footballer. So this next when, you, when your five-year-old son tells you he has a training in West Ham. <laughs> well, I remember there's a time Shafi told me her daughter is going for um, a Disney. school trip in Disneyland. Yeah. And I was left scratching my head. Mm. Football practicals. Yeah, he's going for, for football in West Ham. The next day, the coach says they need to go to Liverpool. Can you compare that with any school here? No, you cannot. Maybe Turi or the, or the Brook Houses of today, but it still goes to be expensive. Uh, true. Yeah. Uh, ah, you man, can't uh, do those things when you've accepted to be paid 12 times in a year. So you have to accept to get that money every single day. Yes. Can you imagine? In 365 days, you are paid 12 times. Sad reality. Like, a year has 365 days, but you are in a comfort zone to a point where... So you only smile on the 30th. Can you imagine? That's the only time, we, <laughs> my God, that's the only time you can go out, have time with your family. Yes. That's, when, that's the only time you feel like your ego and your pride yes. is validated. Yes. 12 yeah. times a year. Yes. So your ego... I, I, Personally, I'd said this and some people took it wrongly. Hey. What I meant is that you have to push yourself. You're a teacher, try and have a kiosk somewhere. So that you at least... Do, 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 do. Even to up and a pallet. You are a lawyer somewhere. Mm. Do you know the owner of Pete's? He has another hustle somewhere. So comfort zone is the worst place to ever think that you want to be in. It will end up you being comfortable there. Where you go to the butchery and you are... Your meat is weighed against stones. Hey! Can you imagine? Where they have to put your meat against stone. So you, it's either you eat that meat, if you can't afford that meat, yes. you eat that stone. They'll either remove the stones <laughs> or add the stones to match your money. <laughs> but if you have money, you come and say, give me... Give me the thigh. Give me the thigh. They'll cut the thigh and they'll pack it here and tell you that the thigh is this much. Or you go to the slaughterhouse and tell them, I need a goat. They'll give you the price of a goat. Oh, comfort, this is zone, a food for... comfort zone is the worst place. Sister's yes. poverty. Yes. There's this guy in the village. He goes out and uh, harvests like three bags from his one acre. You know how village homes, look, yeah. uh, farms look like? Mm. He has a half an acre. He may be a canini, no Makaburi hapa so, nyumba so hapa. Amechukua, imetoka guni angapi? Tatu. This guy, you can't tell him anything until, until this thing ends. Until the three bags end, that's when his ego will come down. Because he, he no longer have to go looking for. So his ego anasiaga, depends on these three. Anasiaga, Isi mifuko tatu. Anasiaga kiuza kimunua mboga. And he's comfortable. That could be you. You get yourself on stage, people love you, you are the comic. And now that is what you want to Only to realize that people left you where you are. I have people who are still stuck at the National Theatre where we used to act sentiments to this moment. It's almost 20 years now. 20 years down the line, they're still in the same place. 
not that they, they had a chance to move and do other things. Because comfort zone the worst place is equals to be. stagnation. The worst place to be. As, as we almost finish up, um, I'm, 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 I think as a friend as, and as your young brother and of course as a fan, and, um, and as your voter, and as your voter. Don't, don't voter. me a young brother. You know you're old. You make me, I'm not old. When you say, lazima ukubali, you must accept. I mean, ndegu yivikataku. Ndegu yivikataku. Bro, I'm, I'm thinking of you past August 9th. Are we seeing Mushimiwa Jalango um, seeing an end-of-year party? And just, uh, God forbid, we don't get this seat because it's ours. What are, we, what are we gonna do? For now, I don't have any plan B, okay? Because like to that. me, I always go, go in. I go in and I, I give it my all. I mm. focus on everything I do. I'm officially resigning in the next three days, mm. on the 9th of February. Yes. All right? Mm. I'll be done with the radio and career and everything. I'm walking and getting myself in politics. Murky waters that I personally don't know what will happen. How it's gonna be. I have the big battle that is the nomination. Yes. So to me, for me to get the right certificate for me to battle, to have a real battle, because in Langata, there will only be two host races, the incumbent and mm. the person who will hold the Azimio ticket. Okay. That is the ticket that I need. If I get yes. that ticket, I swear, I'm the next MP of Langata. If I get that ticket, the day you hear that Yalas has the ODM ticket in his hand, all right? Mm. That's it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. You say Nixon career out. I don't know even who you are talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about. But immediately I have that ODM ticket. It's a wrap. It's for home me. and dry. Yes. I just tell him no, please. Clear, clear up, leave clean documents in that office. Watch a stapler, watch a paper punches, you watch a promise. I ended to nas at watch here to empty house so that we can clean up and make the Langata that we desire, the Langata we want, the Langata we uh, aspire to be. <sighs> but uh, for, I was looking at a possibility of still being a radio presenter while I'm the MP, because mm. uh, parliament session starts at, no, uh, no, most of the time, 11. 10, 11. Yes. Uh, 10, 11. Then the a radio, small break. Radio starts at 6, mm. so by 10 I'm done. I'm already awake. I run to the parliament, go to the constituency office, work for the people. You know me, I'm an early riser. Yes, yes, I know that yeah. for sure. For the past 18 years, I've woken up at Every 4 in the morning. morning. Apart from the weekends or if I'm on holiday. Any regrets? Any regrets? I have a lot. Mm. I wish I had a chance to go to school much earlier. Mm. I would have been much, I would have achieved much more. But uh, from where we were born, we didn't have a choice. I had to take my siblings to school before I go to school. Mm. So the one thing I regret is never going to school much earlier. But I graduated, I finished. Congratulations. Uh, my degree in community development. Mm. Now you know why I took community development. Yeah, now, now I get it. Because now, I get now it. the leadership that, is, that awaits me, everybody says the role of a name is legislation. Mm. We have a thousand and one bills lying in parliament passed and sealed. Nothing happens that do not even affect the people on ground. So community development would stand Literally up from the course, ground. Would, would stand up as a cause better than law as far as a member of parliament is concerned. <laughs> Lawyers were attacked. <laughs> Moving on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that is one thing I regret. I also always wish my father was alive mm. to be able to see what his son has become that the same streets he used to walk without food are the same streets that have his billboard up. Have you ever thanked God or seen the things you asked God to give you happen and come to pass? Have you ever passed a place where you remember very well you are walking, going to nowhere, or to your one room in Mwiki, you don't have fare then, you are hungry, and in the same spot, maybe you sat down, gathering more strength for you to keep on walking. In the same spot, Magnet Ventures have your billboard. And you're passing and cruising in your Range Rover. Have a good day, Ophrenike.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are signing out. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Mm -mm. You have the lapel, just say, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you have the lapel. Please, so can you just let me control my show? No, no, no. No, 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 no. no, no. no. You will let me control my show. I'll, I'll walk out. Uh, you can't walk out. You can't walk out. I'll walk out. Uh, you'll make the shave and tread even harder. Uh, because that's out. what we're going to use. Dr. Uh, Jalango walks out of Dr. Feneke's show. And they realize. Because of Dr. Fedeke was being an idiot. <laughs> Bro, so just like... you, you have a lapel. Okay, repeat that for me. Say, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My baby don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Stop shouting. Stop shouting. I remember me. Stop shouting. You're taking me back on the days of Kenya Kona. I know my producer is no. doing this. I know. Say, say. Yeah. I'll walk out of your show. Please walk out. It's going to be the headline of the YouTube. <laughs> if you do. <laughs> Of when they can refuse oh, no. to <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and of course, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, coming live from Pete's Cafe, at Place on Yangomi Road, and of course, plus all the other branches that, of course, we are at. This is Dr. Feneke Live, of course, on Dr. Feneke TV. A big shout, of course, to Articulate Media for our production. Pete's Cafe for our venue, of course, your local creative agency for marketing, communication, and PR. Big guests, big conversations with a big host. Hey, thank you so much. <laughs> wow, our social media platforms are on there. But of course, just know that Jalango, member of parliament incoming Langata, walked out of an interview. That is the headline. See you again to all the ladies, to all the men. You can sort yourselves out. Have a good night. And of course, bye-bye. <laughs>